the Wake Up with Jim Tab podcast. Oh my gosh. We back. We back. And if you can see us, these mic stands are awesome. Upgrade. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Your Christmas gift to the podcast. So uh, this episode will be... So we back. We back after we the ultimate ghost. Ultra ghost. <laughs> Ultra ghost ba? I think so. I, How long were we gone? Maybe three weeks? Yeah. The longest Gosh, since talagang, we started the podcast. Christmas, we don't give a fuck. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, kids. We are awful parents. That's why um, this episode will be about resolutions. Oh. Okay. I just don't like... Resolutions just really has... The word resolutions, it has just such a lot of pressure that comes with it. Why? I don't know. So we're just, just how we were, just all our lives. Parang new year, new me. I love it. Well, it just makes me think that there's always something wrong with me. Well. What? That is the constant uh, driver for improvement. Way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So are we Pero talking before, about re- resolutions before, before per se? Before or? we get there. Okay. Uh, gusto ko lang i-start yung thread. A live thread. A thread. I'm so proud that you know what thread means. Yeah. A thread is like that thing that keeps going on Twitter. Right? Yes. I, it, it's also... S- so a needle pulling thread. What do you mean? <laughs> anyway, that was just for me. I wish I could. I think I was a video, eh? Parang magre relax ako tas. Yeah, we're taking a video, by the way, for you guys who are just listening through audio. Anyway, anyway, uh, twenty twenty na. Mm. Pwede bang itigil na? O pwede bang itigil ang pag-ikot ng mundo? Anyway. Ay, parang off. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to sing. Um, so, we are talking about what we want to leave in the past. Yes. It's a Pero, new decade. And we want to just share some random musings. And again, mababaw lang doon. Oh. Um. Okay, not, parang relax. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we want. There are a lot of things that we of should course, leave. Of course, the real the important things, and let's like I, okay, let's say the same of you: misogyny and poverty, poverty, uh, crime. Uh, yes, stupid like people who don't know how to like stop using single-use plastic. Tito Soto. Oh whoa. <laughs> Kala ka ba relax? Um. Okay, lang na block naman ako sa kanya. Okay. I mean, he blocked me. So, ito na. Mm. 2020 na, pwede bang i irit- I tweeted this. Pwede bang i-retire na ang um, Waki! O, oh, Waki naman o! Oh. <laughs> ah, actually, in, in fairness naman, in fairness, yung Waki, sometimes it's fine. Okay? When? When you're in grade school? N- yes. Pero parang par- gets ko naman na you're event photographer. You're you're yeah, trained yeah, yeah. to do that. I know, yeah, yeah. It's not well, their fault. This is where it's coming from. So we were at a debu and we just performed. We were tired. I was tired. Uh and then uh group shot with the band and the the, the, the whatever. Okay, this is And then the photographer says, Waki, Waki. I would not jump shot, jump shot. Si Ra, he did not say jump he shot. He said jump shot. No, he didn't. Oh, whatever. So when you wacky, wacky. Tas ako, first of all, this is my thing. All my life, I have never known what to do in a wacky photo. Okay, for you guys, for the benefit of the guys who are just listening, I'm going to um describe what I'm doing for the video. May mga taong yung wacky talagang pakyut lang like tang out yun peace sign wacky na that's not pero wacky that's, li, pero that's that's the thing eh. Parang, or scrunches up their nose that's okay that's exactly what I did during that debut by the way <laughs> ako for me that's fine eh. first of all kasi naman yung mga kapicture natin hindi naman natin close so parang yung mga wacky no yeah, y- 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 okay, okay. Ito yung, ito. FYI we were taking photos of the titas and the uh, the 
parents of the kids. Ito yung or ito which yung, is I, I found it so sweet that they wanted the picture with us. Ito yung origin of why I'm against angry. one oh, angry wow. one when it's aggressive when it's waki naman. Jim, calm down. No one did that. That's what the photographer no one, did. Eh. No photographer kasi, would do kasi that. He took one. He You're took, hired. He took one. He took one. That's not Waki. That's not Guys, Waki. Hey, Joe. Oh, eh, di siya That's like, oh. dude. I don't want to do a Waki photo. Because oh, here, I, I'm thinking. What do I do? I do I do the be? And what do you call oh my it? Gosh, the Mickey Mouse. Be bot. <laughs> Belat, belat. Okay, that's what. How else can you be waki? Ganon. Mga ganito. Hetsi. <laughs> mga, uy, waki, waki, sali ako. <laughs> Ayan, maganda. Ay, di kita sa ano. Ay, isa pa, isa pa. Uy, waki, sali. Uy, uy, sali. <laughs> Here. Ay, mga, Ito sa. Be ready for the picture. I love those photos. Oh, yun yung mga love. Yun yung, yun yung parang, why, why? Mission. Oh my gosh, band photo lah tayo na ganun. Yeah, that's maganda. Ay, sorry. That's maganda. Sorry. That's maganda. Ito, ito. Ito yung issue ko. Okay? When the event is dead, mm. okay? People aren't talking to each other. People are on their phones. And then guys, guys, photo. Like, it's obviously such a boring night. And then night. boomerang. Oh! And then, like, boomerang, we've talked about that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Verse is wacky. Yung ah, sobrang, so parang, sobrang boring. Tapos lahat nasa phone. Tapos biglang, Guys, guys, photo. It's parang lahat. Okay, smile. It's big. Guys, waki naman oh. <laughs> First of all, I don't think any event photography will be like, tang in a waki. <laughs> Hoy, waki, please, please. Come on, waki. In a bayad ako, guys. Waki. Kailangan ko ng waki shots. Pwede mong mukha kayo mag-enjoy. <laughs> yun, yun yung dun ako na ilang eh. Like, But kasi naman, Everyone imagine, quite, imagine like, you're an events photographer. You have to make it seem like the event is fun. But I'm not mad. That's I know, why, I know, that's I know. why I'm not There's mad. There's a lot of pressure. I'm not mad at the photographer. Just at the situation. The concept of it. <laughs> Kaya nga may nag-tweet din sa akin eh, yung um, candid. Candid. Kunwari candid. candid. Is that annoying? Mm, I, I don't Should think... we retire that? Mm, it, it, it's, it all depends eh, on who likes it. It's a personal choice. Yeah. Kasi ako, again, having my photo taken on a normal day is something excruciating, re- for, excruciating you. for me which so, is annoying for me because so, you know can't take a nice freaking couple shot <laughs> what are we gonna show our grandchildren Jim? kaya ako honestly kung ano tayo let's say guys sweet 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 S- photo sweet ayusin ko nga itong angle para okay. guys guys sweet photo naman I'm I'm just you know I'm nahihirap nahihirapan talaga ako kasi parang I'm, I love my wife. I love Sab with all Thank my you. life. Pero if parang if there's someone in front of us and parang I do that on my own time. Parang ganun. And then, yeah, calm down, Jim. Okay, it's okay. It's not, it's not, Jim, it's not that big. It's not that big a deal. Okay, na, ay, yung list ko. Can I get my phone? Okay, what is this? Ito yung mga iwan dapat. Meron ako, meron ako. Wait lang, ayusin ko yung camera ulit ako kasi hindi ko type. Okay. I have something na pwedeng iwan, which is something I observed when I was in line uh, oh. at National hmm. National Bookstore. It's not it's not a sponsored ad, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> so I was in line. That's the person next to me. It was a mom, hmm. and as a mom myself, I I just I've there's part of this bond. Parang meron ka ng you just love all other moms because you kind of feel like, hey girl, I get yeah, you. You're lucky. Yeah. You're, I, I, I get what you've gone through. Parang, Sorry, nipples. Yeah, parang, yeah, we can do this. But something we have to retire, <laughs> I think, is talking to your kid Now the whole room has to hear it. Well, we don't know yet. Okay, like this, like this, like this. Here's an example. Here's an, okay, wait. No, no, no. I would never, or maybe I would. Sure. Wait lang. Ito kasi nangyari. Okay, so I was in line as being na. And then, this mom was just like, loudest voice. Like, let's say the girl's name is Michelle. Like, Michelle, ano na? And nagdanag siya kasi. Yun Wait, yung, sorry, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Pero Michelle, Michelle. Okay. Ito, ito, Michelle, give it na. Give it na. It's your turn na. Yung ganun. Yung uh-huh. nagi. Okay lang sana if like, 
I don't baby. Hindi na parang use your inside voice, I guess. I don't know. Parang, hey. Ah, yeah, yeah. Pwede mo naman, pwede mo naman ganun yung bata. Tas, like, go down. Michelle, go, Michelle. Uh, go, yeah. ano, and then, hey, it's our turn na. Okay? Eh, parang, eh, baka, I, hindi, I, baka hindi yun yung personality ng mom. But she's just, well, she seemed like she was like, just nagging the hell out of this young girl who just wanted the freaking, I don't know what she wanted, like a pen? Parang, oh, as in, hindi pa niya turn ha, inaano niya na parang, oh, psh, you like that? Is that what you want? Michelle? Michelle? Ano? Hmm. Oh, you get it na. Yung parang, kailangan mo namin lahat marinig yung ano. Like, the, I swear, the kid was not being noisy or even, as in, she was just chill. Okay. Like a six-year-old. Sobrang relax. She wasn't making it. It was the mom who was noisy. <laughs> yeah, gets good. So I was just like, stop. Anton? Pretty... Anton? Anton, don't Anton. play with that toy, ha? Anton? <laughs> Anton? Pupunta pa tayo sa polo. Polo. <laughs> oh. Ready na. Mag- 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 sa sauna pa ako sa polo. <laughs> <laughs> Mag-horseback riding ka pa po. Anton? Anton? Puta ka na, Anton! Puta ka na naman, Anton! Manid ka pa talaga? <laughs> Manid ka ba? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, Next. that's something we have to retire. It's Here. like, nagging your chill kids. In public. Not even. Ako in public. In, in, here at home? Why would you nag your kids? Here. Why would you nag your kids at home? Like, like, what? Imagine mo, Pancho's just like, chilling out, and then you're like, Pancho! Pancho! Well, uh, anyway, I think that's... Ah, oh, anyway. Ito. Well, I don't think you should... Act. I'm all about gentle parenting, so... <laughs> Hello. Um, 2020 na. Pwede ba ang pagbili ng gamot? Pwede bang hindi ganun kahirap? Yeah. Like, why the fuck? What do you mean, though? Lahat ng pharmacy, mercury drug, lagi na lang, either tatlo lang yung parking slot, pero pagpasok mo... There are like a hundred people inside. There are four people in the counter. And each parang walang pila, walang ganyan, ang gulo. So, and pa- ang point ko rin, sometimes like, you wake up. And you want to buy a biogestic because you're not feeling good. Yeah. Honestly, <clears throat> what's annoying to me is yung inconsistency ng no. branches. There are branches that are good. Uh-huh. May sistema. And there are branches that are like fucking chaos. They're like every man for himself. Uh, yeah, Parang, well, just, I think Mercury Drug would I don't know ma franchise ba to, mga to? No. It's owned by I, one person, but I don't know eh. But parang can we like have some sort of consistency in the system? Pero in fairness, ha, in fairness to the pharmacists in Mercury Drug, mm. they're much better sa mga, than NASA Watsons. In general? In general. Like Mercury Drug is like uh, ito sa pharmacy. Uh. Abutan mo ng reseta and like I can't barely rem- remember or what the doctor wrote the si- ah okay pak 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 meron si- siguro ganun yung test sa mercury drug ano no I'm pharmacist sure. kailangan mong basahin yung mga handwriting ng doctor anyway ang point ko 2020 na so, pwede ba sa Pilipinas can we have a more convenient way to get drugs well mahirap kasi talaga kapag ito yung ano ko rin eh kapag reseta prescription drugs kailangan mo talaga pumunta diba kasi kailangan mo ng reseta yeah. but what annoys me is hindi na naman consistent yung ibang mercury papayag sila na, na si send lang ng doctor yung reseta True. sa phone yung iba kailangan printed out which is i understand because that's prescription drugs you can you can just easily fake that diba True. if it's just a photo so i just don't understand like what what are the rules but here's my life hack what i do is i order through the phone Mercury drug, and then I lala move it. Pabile service. Swear. Okay. This is not a sponsored ad. Okay. But I appreciate you, lala move. Isa pa. Isa pa. 2020 na. Pwede bang maging mas magandang KKB system dito sa Pilipinas? In the States, they have this thing called Venmo, which is an app, and I think you can link any kind of bank account in it. And it's, it. Anyway, and, and it, what happens pa? It's kasi di, alam mo naman dito parang um, sa states every almost all the transactions are done through card. Mm. So yung Venmo ika-card ng isang tao is magta-transfer transfer pa. So anyway, ang point ko is kunwari saya-saya ng gabi. Iinuman kayo, ang ganda ng food. Speak lang. Ano yung sayo? Ano yung um 
I don't know why restaurants just have like, parang if you say na split, pa this split yun yung issue. Oh my gosh, it's not the even world about, stops. It's not, oh, it's not even the payment method. It's the, parang, ay, parang kung kahit nga minsan tatlo lang kayo, yeah. it's like, mm-hmm. ay, oh. hindi, hindi po namin pwedeng gawin yun kasi napunch na namin. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, and dami yeah. dami ginastos to eat here and enjoy. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah. 2020 na. Pwede bang wala nang nakawa ng cellphone? Parang, hindi ba laos na yun by this time? Yeah. Do you think it's still rampant? Kasi nung high school ako, it was like, every week, like, oh, putang yun, hindi nakawa ng cellphone. Ng cellphone. I haven't heard of someone getting robbed lately. Like, someone in our <coughs> circle. Of a cellphone. Ako na nakawa ng cellphone. Sa Alam. Singapore. Uh, hindi ka na nakawa ng cellphone na iwan mo the next day mo at naalala. Ninakaw, at ninakaw. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ba ninakaw yun? I don't think so. I think you were just drunk. You were at a bachelor party. <laughs> you know what? Hindi the pe- hindi ka pe- pe- pinik pocket. Wedding. Pinik pocket ka ba? Or naiwan mo sa bar? Because I'm just, you know, knowing you. <laughs> just kidding. Ano? Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> next. Ano? 2020 na. And we've discussed this on the podcast before. Please, pwede bang wala ng Viber? <laughs> group Please, chat? Viber group chats. Sana may consent form. No? <laughs> Sana talaga. Or para, hindi, here's the thing. Sana naman, manang, if you leave, if you leave a group chat, you. hindi lalabas. Oh, no. Kasi, in Viber, kasi as we Kasi, say, alam mo, okay, may mga groups na if you leave, no one would notice. Mm. So, let's just leave it at that. Bakit kailangan pang i-announce na yeah. Sab has left? Yun nga eh. Tapos talaga Viber with the fucking stickers na sobrang laki. Sana may option it's for so, me. It's pl- so intrusive sana sa may, phone. Sana may option for you personally to do that option na leave without, ano, di ba? Leave I, without I, leaving I, a comment. I absolutely hate it. You as know, kasi ang lalaki ng mga unicorn, bigla na lang ako, ba't takay na ba't may unicorn dito? <laughs> diba? Yeah. Like, why? I was good with the colon parenthesis. Smiley. Yeah. It's enough to show emotion. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Fake boomer. Okay. So, we're done with the 2020 na. Mm-hmm. We are now at resolutions. Okay. Um, I think uh, the first one um, that... Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was Siri. The first one... The voice of Siri. The first one, I think, uh, well, I... You know, is reestablishing my morning routines. I really believe okay. that our bodies are like uh, cars. I, I know nothing about cars. <laughs> <laughs> you put oil, right? Cars are the ones with wheels, right? <laughs> boss, boss, um, unleaded, full tank. <laughs> unleaded? No, not the velocity. <laughs> you sound like such a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> kuya, kuya, do you have fleet card? <laughs> Ma'am Shell Kuya, Google. kuya, um, do you accept like Globe Rewards? <laughs> May SF Avengers card buba kayo. Tina, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I only have Restan's FSP. <laughs> I only have the one with... Ay, anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um... Morning routine, our, our bodies are like cars. <laughs> diba parang, ang alam ko, what it's I know, what I know about cars is, syempre, hindi ko naman, hindi ka andar. Hindi ka sa, hindi, hindi ka hahataw lang naman bigla. Ah. Uh, diba, I, warm up mo yung engine, dun ka gagalaw. Damn, that sounds sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you need to lubricate. Hey, stop it, Jim! Anyway. Gosh. So, ano yun? Ah, okay. So and that's, you don't stop it, go Then that's how I <laughs> that's how I view the mornings. Yeah. And I think this past year, um and I the past like three, four years, mm-hmm. especially with, you know, 
de línea en línea, en these businesses. Um, and the boys. De, yun nga, oh. Before I get there. The mornings were always like very sacred to me. Like, um, I never look at my phone for 30 minutes to an hour. I start off with prayer. Uh, I journal. I, uh, I exercise. Whatever. That one hour is my me time. And it sets me up for the day. And it's proven effective. Now, it just became completely different when we had two boys now. Because, of mm-hmm. in the morning, it's eh. You see these two babies. It's so hard to leave them in bed. And they're, they, you know, you just want to cuddle and you you end up playing with them. Ah, no, I feel like I'm playing ng music. Or I'm playing guitar ako for them. Mm-hmm. All these things. So, anyway, I that's my resolution. Like, continue the morning routine because um, the day the result of your day is always so dependent on how you start it. And, um, I agree. I believe that even though we have two kids na, they can be part of, you know, I'll just make them part of their routine. So like, you know, sinayi ko sayo, di ba? Um, getting the boys their sun time. Yeah. Uh, and then, them, I, I'll play guitar and sing to them. Mm-hmm. That will be part of the routine. Yeah. So that's mine. That's nice. I, I agree. And, ako nga, I feel best when my mornings are the best when I wake up before anyone else. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I like seeing you guys like peacefully sleeping. And then, mm-hmm. yung wala pang araw. Mm-hmm. And then I go to my desk. And then, parang, wow, I've got a head start on everyone. There's actually a philosophy, not a philosophy, but like <clears throat> a self-help book about that. Yung parang, how to whatever, whatever. It's, parang, it's, it's simply like, you're going to buy a book and it simply just says, wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Well, yung linya linya office kasi is pretty far. So yeah. actually, I leave the house around 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. Because I hate traffic. He's a psychopath. <laughs> and I'm there before anyone and it's completely <laughs> dark. But I love it. Yeah. And my day is always so much more organized kasi. Yeah. Because the most, imp- why why I'm putting so much more, eff- uh, why I put so much emphasis on uh, the mornings is because you are not reacting to everything. If you start your morning the way you want it to, you control your day. Na. It's not like, ay puta, nag-text yung client. Yeah. Naunahan ka. Oh, and then, ngarag ka na, ah, sige, maliligo na ako. Yeah. Hindi na ako makakapag um, steam yoga. Yeah. Diba? Which is <clears throat> why you really should sleep earlier. Yes. And that'll come with parenthood. Don't worry, kids. Kami naman, <laughs> ako, Grabe, di ba? Yeah. Kami ni, si Sab, in fairness, like in our uh, pre-parenthood days, she was she was always been asleep by 11, 10, and awake at 7. Aho, 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Yeah. Anyway, next resolution. These are, this is our joint resolutions, anyway. Um, so the next one is, um, Christmas was pretty um, hard on the gut. Uh, the drinking, the eating, and in fairness to me and Sab, even before New Year, which is nakatawa, that's the worst time to do it, yeah. After Christmas, the day after Christmas, sabi namin, okay. Uh, it's it's let's been start, too much. Let's start. You guys have, parang we're talking to ourselves na talagang, you guys sobrang baboy nyo na. <laughs> Tama na. Kasi let's, talaga nagkaroon tayo ng phase na talagang, Take isang pizza. <laughs> and then we would order like one whole pizza and then we're like, wow, that's good for <laughs> us. Yeah. Ha, na isang pizza at sang ina, four slices each. Babu. Hindi, alam ko yung, yung, alam mo yung love ko. <laughs> Every time we're gonna order, we're always like, oh my God, uh, isang box lang yung pizza. Kasi there's all these pizzas always have seven nine nine for two. Oh, oh. So lucky coming. Pero kung isang box lang, 600, yung dalawa, 700. Oh, so, it's okay na, na. Dalawa na lang. Oh. Sayang naman eh. Pwede naman initin eh. Bigyan natin sa kanalayayo. Oh. So, anyway. Um, anyway. So, what we, what we decided, we decided to cut out um, carbs and sugar. Well, n- ako, lesson. Yeah. So, um, ne, more of, actually, ne, kasi, like, both Sab and I have 
gone through everything. We've done keto, we've done IF. intermittent fasting, we've done what have we done? Those pre packed meals. We constantly do Isabel's Isabel's dot mm-hmm. com. Not PH Gaku. Oh. And also the meat plant. Anyway, <laughs> um the meat plant dot com. <laughs> Uh, anyway, ang sabi namin ni Sab, at least when we do the groceries, when you look at it, it's greens, fruits, and meat. Well, that's, yeah. Okay. Ako so, naman, I'm trying to go back to my plant-based days. Because if you didn't know, I was vegan for uh, about three to four months after Pancho was born. And I loved how I felt. I really did. As in, I just, it was really for Alam me. Mo, ako, I really hated it. Oh, I really loved it. You weren't, you weren't vegan it for was, a long ano, time. It was kabag fest. But you kabag. only gave it like a week or two. Unleaded fest. But, <laughs> I don't Gas know. Gas Maybe, maybe, it wasn't the veganism, Jim. It was something else. I think you're gluten allergic. I may, I may. I really think so. Anyway, so before I was really on drop that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and I think I may I don't wanna commit to anything because I don't wanna pressure myself because that's what's that that's what kills me. But I did it successfully as in one hundred percent committed to veganism when I was in when I was pregnant. And then I switched I at the pediatricians and then the pediatrician said, No, you have to eat meat. So I go, oh and then it opened the Okay, boomer doctor. Okay, boomer doctor. Don't you know that? <laughs> The breastfeedingpinay.com was founded by a vegan. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, another, so anyway, we're just sharing this because, uh, well, some tips. What we're doing now is, uh, well, me. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm proud to say, after all these years of drinking and, I mean, when in our heyday, we were in a band. We go out, we... We, we 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 hang with our bandmates. We, you know, love eating food. We do these pizza things. Hindi kami, you know, we've always maintained our health. Parang, of course, it's normal to go through uh, the cycles of like, okay, gaining a lot of weight, holiday weight, ganyan, and then we just work our way back. So anyway, I just want to share na uh, don't be discouraged. Yeah, alam mo, I I was really. Uh, parang I I I wasn't. Well, it was when I just simply said, "Okay, I'm not gonna be put so much pressure on myself, but I will stop the kababuyan." And then, yeah, I I because I used to have like more than one cup of rice, like mm. three times a day, and then I cut it down to maybe one meal will have a big, you know, not even anymore, but like half a cup of rice or whatever. And I'm happy to say, Jim, these pants I'm wearing, these are pre-pregnancy pants. Whoa! Congrats! High five! Congrats! I I just tried them on this morning and parang ako, oh my gosh. So we're on two weeks na of this new thing. Two weeks na ba? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. Mm. And mine isn't even like any strict diet, ha? It's really just... And as long as you keep yourself busy, you won't... Siguro kasi ng holidays, it was holidays, eh? So a dami nating like, okay, Downtime. let's like chill watch whatever and uh, aho my thing is um my thing is you know what they always they, they what they say you know, stick to a diet uh don't go for diets go for a lifestyle yeah thing. change your lifestyle aho, honestly <laughs> that doesn't work for you uh no because <laughs> i love if i'm gonna eat rice gusto sobrang daming kanin. <laughs> that's not good you know that's why pero, everything in moderation. I do ag- I do agree with finding a diet. When I say diet, meaning a um, a meal a, a meal plan that will keep you happy. So what I kaya ako intermittent fasting. I super love it. I don't care about the hours. I don't care about the twelve to eight shit. Basically, in a day, I skip breakfast and I have two meals, and that's more than enough to create a calorie deficit. Okay, nerd and. Uh, <laughs> oh yun, and again, back to the point nga, I'm proud na kami ni Sab. Uh, you know, we really push each other. We help each other. We're never hard on each other. Like, we will never be that couple that says like, taba ni misis, taba ni mister. Yeah. Parang, we won't do that. 
Um, but but I will say like, oh my gosh, you're looking good. Yeah, and and, and I'm like, <laughs> fuck, thank you, gumagana. Yeah, stig. And then si sabi, any any time that you know, I, any opportunity I have to say like, hey, you're looking great. Listen. <laughs> Ang problem sa akin, you know, the, I don't know if I'm still like this, ha. But there was there's a time I don't know if you guys can resonate with this. Pero pag pinipraise ako na, oh my gosh, you look great. I'll, I'll feel like, oh, wow, I guess I can have that donut now. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was more of when I was, like, going on this yo-yo diet. They actually see Steven. That's what he told me, like, the other week. Sabi niya, if you say that. My friend, he, he saw me and then he said, hey, man, I seem pa oh. I don't I didn't want to tell you this. Um, I really didn't want to tell you this, but you lost a lot of weight. <laughs> and then I said... Ah, why why wouldn't you want to tell me? <laughs> because, you know, when you tell someone that, they usually... Uh, Gain well, back they, the weight. Yeah, they... they <laughs> the laman. That's true, though. <laughs> um, and then last... You feel invincible when you're yeah. told that. And then, yung ano namin sa, in terms of... Anyway, our whole mantra on um, working out and being... Is actually being healthy. Mm-hmm. Because, like, why ako here, here. So, again, I don't want to. Gabi ang haban resolution na to. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's one that, you know, health a lot of people is learn. wealth. Yeah. Um, so, here, I realize, Gwari, the, the, the babies are getting heavier. Yeah, okay? they are. It's a simple, it's a simple thing like this. For the longest time, for the past six months, what I do is at night, I go on the elliptical mm-hmm. before going to bed. Mm-hmm. So, I, Sleep, technically burning. Yeah, and an elliptic, uh, elliptical, an elliptical machine is the thing. It's not. It's like a treadmill, not but it's not treadmill. hard on it's like your you're knees. Walking. It's like yeah, but I do it. Um, you can look this yeah. up. I'm sure you know it. But it's called HIT. Um, H I I T. Yeah, it's interval High training, intensity. so you do interval. very fast, like. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you can't talk for a minute, and then you rest for a minute, and then you can't talk <gasps> for a minute, and then you rest for a minute. So. I do that for like 20 to 30 minutes every day. Anyway, a point ko is, I realized like when I was carrying si Pancho or si Vito, like I don't want to get to an age, especially when they're really older na, na I can't keep up with them. Yeah. Na I can't carry them easily. That I, I run can't with them. run with them. So that's why I, I'm back to doing weights. Yeah. Three times a week. So, ikaw, what ano yung thinking mo about yeah, exactly. I just really want to be able to keep up with them mm-hmm. and um, have energy to play with them. This is why the lifestyle change, which is not the one much. I mean, I, we're not the one. Yeah, it was just for the holidays that we were parang crazy. Ang, ang point naman is like, ako, hindi ko naman pangarap paging si Zac Efron eh. Bakit? Charot. <laughs> Like, I mean, I'm not gonna eat like hard boiled egg and lettuce every yeah, year. Yeah, you're not gonna be in a movie with like, your shirt off. Oh, and like have three protein shakes for dinner or whatever. M- my point is that that's what I want to share. You yeah. need to share now. If you have a fitness goal, one, you have to enjoy it. Two, think of it just your goal should be health. And when I say health, the reason why I do that elliptical thing at night is when I wake up in the morning, I feel good. Yeah. I don't feel bloated. Yeah. I don't feel like, ugh. Yeah. Um, and, you You're know, more again, productive. Yeah. So, that, parang kumbaga, if that's your goal, just like, I want to be healthy. Like, I want to have a good mood. Mm-hmm. Like, my sister, Cello, mm. is a yoga addict because she knows how much the indoor things affects her mood mm. when she does yoga or works out. And, and how it affects other people because, mm. you know, you're more positive, you're whatever. So, if that's your goal, then failing is so much harder to happen. Mm. Gets mo? Because if you're saying, I'm going to be Zac Efron. You know, I want six-pack, eight-pack eight abs and, you know, I want to have sex with everyone. <sighs> if in week one, you're not enjoying your hard-boiled egg and lettuce... Three times, six times a day. You will give up. You're gonna give up, and you don't feel, and you don't look like Zac Efron on day five. Yeah. Bibi ka. So I, that's a good, uh, no, that's Boring good motivation, ba? Jim. So you work out 
because you're more productive. For me, ah, it gives you energy and then you're more productive. And then mo- mas, you'll keep wanting it. You'll yes. keep wanting to do it. And yun nga, it's really true na once you start incorporating workout, working out in your lifestyle, you will look for it. Yeah. As in, you will start... That's happened to me. I can't believe... I, I d- never believed that I would be the type. Remember when I was, you know, when I just gave birth or when I was pregnant and I was just like, ah, sobrang gusto na work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And parang ikaw, whoa. I, because, because I used to hate it, right? No, no, no. I used to when really we hate first, working out. When we first started dating, as in, naka ilang away kami ni Sab sa gym. Like, gym tayo, Sab. Punta kami doon. Tapos sabihin ko, okay, this is the program. Mag-squats kami. Tapos siya parang, ayoko na, ayoko na. And then, <laughs> paawayin niya ako. I was really weak. And then, she and I super like got it. into it. You watch that YouTube video. Any YouTube video? One? That's really true. Eh? Which one is Day that? Day in the Life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did that. Yeah. And like, she, Sab was like, super like doing deadlifts as in so like gym addict siya. yeah I really like and strength training and your mood training. was so great so anyway I don't like cardio kasi so I found the thing that worked for me yun so there again it all goes back to what makes you happy whether it's in the diet in the workout in the recovery I, lo- I love strength training and being able to lift like these heavy weights like I felt like such a fucking badass and yeah. then the, doing the squats, I would look at my butt and I'd be like, damn, girl, <laughs> get it. <laughs> <laughs> Ang isa ko na so rin. stop being so hard on yourself and cheer yourself on. Yung isa ko na realize, ako naman, I really hate public gyms. <laughs> diba? You, I think you know that yung mga, pari, gagamitin mo to. The worst is gym when we went to the gym and then we bumped into an ex-boyfriend of mine. <laughs> and then we had to like work out next ah, yeah, to him. Ah, yeah. Because it was in like the same yung one mirror. Yeah. So parang kaming tatlo. But we, were, but we said at, hi to each other. Yeah, parang one mirror and all the dumbbells were in one section. So parang kaming tatlo nagtitinginan sa mirror doing the workouts. And I'm like, Pero siya mo small talk pa eh. So like parang, oh, habang like ako parang, <laughs> siya parang, Bro, how's the ano? He does not sound like that. Tang ina naman. Anyway. And bro, how's the? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um. Anyway. Uh. Again, if you see me, uh, don't talk to him at the gym. No, I mean, you know, I I really. Do you grunt at the gym? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I I try to keep myself. Pero <laughs> I, I I try to pace myself. Pero kung ano, mabigat talaga. <laughs> uh, so may, kasi I can't take it. May Pero mga I, guys kasi okay. nakupal talaga na. Ah! Liit ng betlo ko! <laughs> diba? Oh my gosh. Like, how come you never hear girls going like that? Like, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who waits in? Jim, enough. Disgusting. Anyway. Uh, okay. There you go. So, I hope, you know, again, the point nga is, don't, you know, just fucking enjoy it. Like, again, that's why nga Manny, sh- let's have a weight loss episode with Manny, who lost so much Was weight. Not, not, diba? Diba. Basag siya nun eh. oh, not the best example of how to lose weight. But yeah, uh, just a reminder, when you f- see people on Instagram, these fitness instructors, these fitness coaches, uh, they mean, I know they mean well, but then sometimes, nakaka-pressure talaga and they seem like they have the perfect thing. So I wake up in the morning, do like a quick 5km jog mm-hmm. and then I like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, 100%, that's not what happens in their day. I'm sure they also have their hang-ups and you shouldn't feel bad na kware one day you sleep in hindi ka nagising ng 5 a.m. to do your run that that doesn't mean you have to stop the progress doesn't end there you don't have to give up just get up the next day get up earlier the next day yeah and I think last resolution is I think for the past two years I think, yeah, for the past two years, mm. um, we've always told ourselves na, hey, let's not lose our identity as parents. Mm-hmm. So let's um, 
let's let's kumaga you're still sap. You're still sap. I love being sap. I love being Pancho and Vito's mom. Of course. But I wanna that's, be, the, that's my number yeah. one. That's her number one role. No, I, my number one role is your wife. Oh, kiss. <laughs> Nag-kiss <laughs> ko. Love. video. Uh, ito. So, w- well, what we're gonna do is pursue our passion projects, our individual passion projects. Uh, Sab Oh will. no, are we going to say it out well, loud? Well, Sab is really, you know, because she... I will what? share something. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Through the years, there's just this thing with me na... I, I like this podcast because I feel like it's very intimate. So you have to listen to what? It's been 40 minutes that we're talking. You have to really listen and invest in your time listening to this podcast. And that's why it uh, it filters out all the trolls. Mm-hmm. Yung mga mema lang. Yeah. So that's why I like doing this. As opposed to, well, on Twitter, I've become much quieter than I used to be. On Instagram, I barely post. I mean, like, I won't even post sometimes five days. Mm-hmm. And not consciously. Sometimes, I mean, consciously, I want to post. I want to update you guys. But then I'm also really busy. Mm-hmm. And then with the kids and, you know, just trying to stay sane. Mm-hmm. And then also subconsciously, I just don't want to post na lang kasi ayoko may magsabi pa ng something okay. that will just trigger me. And to a point na I just don't, uh, as as um, ironic I hope I'm using the term right uh, as it may seem I just don't really like that much attention okay. even with the tongang profession ko of being a quote unquote celebrity na medyo na stress ako sa parang there's a lot of backlash that goes with it you can't say anything wrong you can't ano so imagine this stress na parang, I just don't want to put myself out there anymore and I don't like attention but then parang ah that's overthinking that's the the the, the percentage of people who do want to keep updated with what's happening in our lives and huh. you know sharing the things that I'm learning sharing the experiences that I've gone through which I think is not common and it would help people who have gone through the same thing. That's why I've decided that I will, I will embrace it. I will stop being so scared. You know, because I got some death threats mm-hmm. when I was being vocal. Yeah, and it's not fun when you're pregnant and you're getting death threats and you're getting um bad, parang bad juju being thrown at you when your kid is you know fighting for his life. It's really not fun. But I have to get over that. And yun so. Thank you guys for sticking with us, sticking with me through the years. And I'm getting emotional. Mm-hmm. Pero, nyare, happy new year. Um, no, but really, I really want to so thank you guys the because the pod kids, you guys being vocal about how much you love the podcast, it's really gotten me or gotten us through so much. And you guys have given me the strength to um, keep going. And that's why I'm going to be more present on social media. And we're finally going to do our YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful message. <laughs> hey. and, I, and I completely agree with you. As in, I fucking love when pod kids come up to us. As in, super crazy range, you know? So, like, we have, like, like Fio, a nurse from Novaliches, you know? And yeah. we have, like, a 17-year-old come up to us, like, and like, like, the parang like, um, you know, you have all these people that um, the pod kid group mismo na they come from different backgrounds and they say that uh, you help me become a better singer or whatever. And then there's this guy na you know you help me through my study. So thank you very much. We truly, truly appreciate you guys. And um, we're and gonna. We want you continue. to know that you also help us. <laughs> and uh, honestly, like Unwari, with the podcast getting bigger. We have been getting, you know, some hate. But again, back to your point, Sab. Like, um, yeah, ko- I, I mean, ma, one, <laughs> one JJ Funk in, 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 you know, um, yung mga, bakit makasali dyan si Jim? I mean, that's just ne, that ne, one ne, guy. Ne, 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 ang point ko is, again, 
tama ka eh. Like, why, why ruin the fun for most of the intelligent people? So anyway, yes, Sabo do that. And we're very excited because we're releasing our third album from Cheats. And, you know, um, I, well, you know, just uh, inside scoop. I think, like, this EP that we last released, you know, it was so, it came from such tragedy and, you know, and I'm very, very proud of it. And, you know, I'm just excited na parang after tragedy, you know, there's always, kumbaga, there's a rainbow always after the rain. <laughs> or pwede ring, it's not always rainbows and butterflies, it's compromise and moves us along. So we're excited to see, you know, what, what, what output we will create. Uh, so, anyway, I guess yung advice na lang namin is, um, look, at, this is my final, ito yung Stormbreaker. Okay? okay. And if you've listened for 46 minutes and you're still here, then good for you because your life is about to change. Oh, whoa. I'm excited. This is how you make your New Year's resolutions. And I'm thinking of this on the fly. You think of an ideal version of yourself. Who is Jim in 2025? And then you work backwards. So let's say I am... You want to be a pilot? No. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. Uh, you want to be a chef? No. Okay. Kunwari, let's say I am... Let's say... I am Nika. Mm. I'm a creative. Mm. And then I say I'm let's say I'm 22. And who who is Nika 5 years from now? I 3 years from now. And envision the, who that person is. I want I want that Nika to be, you know, I want her to have five, you know, I want to be a great manager. I want to create stuff outside of work. I want to be able to pay for ganyan. Ganun yung vision mo. As Specific? In, yes. Like, imagine, like, mag-daydream ka. What, what would a hap, what would a five-year very successful Nika be and what would her morning, lunch, and dinner be like? As to the T. Like, I want to be able to have ha- Hagen does whenever I want. Whatever. I you were going to say hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, all that, all that stuff. Um, And then, work backwards. So, like, from there, what, steps do I need to take to get from point A to point B? And that those are your resolutions. And then you can filter it down to what can I do within this year? What's reasonable? Diba? If you say in but five years... being present. If, I, if in five present years you want to be... I want to work in Spain. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. What can I do this year? I know that I have to That'll save at least this money. The, and then at least your goals... Are working kasi, towards that. Because ito ha? Objectives, I goals without measurement are just dreams. Oh, just nothing wrong with now. dreams though. Because I'm drinking vino. Basag trip ko talaga. This vino is working well for me. By the way, if you find Beringer, Beringer, mm-hmm. it's really good red wine. Um, anyway, point is another tip in connection with that. Yung mm. goals, goal setting. Mm. Yung ay parang what is your life goal? You, you you write it down and then um every day you try to do something that is that will parang yeah work towards that goal aside from your to-do lists parang syempre may mga urgent ano and then there's that one just maybe do like one pomodoro of it pomodoro is like a 25 minute inter- interval so one pomodoro that will get you closer to that at least yeah and before i was rudely interrupted sorry Yun nga, if a goal is not measured... Meaning, hey, Mr. Vino! <laughs> if a goal is not measured, then it's just a dream. <laughs> yeah, we heard you the first time. <laughs> With that said... He wants it to be a sound bite. <laughs> sound bite. Uh, Rappler, you can use this. Uh, With that said, um, I just want to say, please check out linyalinya.ph. We have the hot dog... Hot dog and lumpia pocket teas, which I honestly had no idea, but my young and brilliant creative team led by Ali said, uh, Jim, can we do this hot dog shirt? And I'm like, I don't get it. And then now it's selling like 
Hot dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> so check it out. It's on the website. Uh, and like also check show. out um, Ali's Ali and the Linea Linea la, la. The Linea Linea show. show. They back. They back. Nice. So thank you and excited for 2020. We've got guests lined up, yes. guys. And we will make sure. Naming promises. Na, tama na. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.